Hello everyone, today's video topic is Can People Really Change? Hello everyone, as explained in the intro, today we're going to answer the question, can people really change? And as always, I'm going to start with a quote. People never change. They simply reveal more of themselves the more you get to know them. And I think that's a key insight right there, is that generally we form a belief system about people, and then if they don't live up to that belief system, we accuse them of changing or um, not being authentic. But in reality, we probably didn't know everything about them, and therefore we couldn't make a judgment. So that's a really key insight. Now we have a question, and this question's from Canada. A lot of my viewers, in fact, I think it's the third um, th uh, the third destination on my viewer list from Canada. So I really appreciate all the Canadians out there and um, you know the questions you're sending through and your, your subscriptions to the YouTube channel. So the question is, it's from a, um, it's from a girl. And, hi Hadron, thank you for your videos. I've shared them with my boyfriend hoping that he would change. Recently, I've caught him stealing from my family. He lies regularly to me and um, has been taking drugs his entire life. I've asked him to stop taking drugs, but he continually lies and is stealing money at the moment to fund his drug habit. I want to know if I can change him or if this is a hopeless situation. I really feel for you. I can almost feel the compassion coming out of the, the email that you really, really want to help your boyfriend, and I think that's beautiful. But let's talk about the task at hand and whether it's appropriate that you continually put time into this, because it sounds like you've definitely been clear about what you want, but you're just not getting it. So I want to talk about a story um, that is from 620 BC. It's a guy called Aesop wrote a book called Aesop's Fables that kids still read today. It's you know, two, two and a half thousand years old. Isn't that incredible? And the story is called The Scorpion and the Frog. And you're just going to have to get into your daydream state and think about this because I'm going to use some imagery. So I want you to think about a rocky desert outcrop and a desolate rocky desert outcrop. And on this desert outcrop, a, a little scorpion you know, cruises past and he's sitting there in the hot sun and he says, you know what? I'm sick and tired of being a scorpion, a desert scorpion. I want to change my life. I want everything to be different. I want to be a different type of scorpion. I want to go live in a beautiful jungle type environment and I've had enough and I'm off today. So he starts sort of walking down the mountain, cruising through the desert and it's incredibly hot and the journey is very difficult and he's, you know, on the edge of sort of um, giving up when eventually after days and days of walking, he noticed that there's a large um, jungle scenescape only a few kilometers from him. He's incredibly excited by this, but notice there's a river in front of the, um, the jungle, which he wants to become a jungle scorpion and change, but the river is in the way. And as we know, scorpions can't swim. So he sits next to a, a rock and he thinks to himself, how am I gonna get across this river? And while he's pondering this, he notices that there's a, a frog, you know, sort of frolicking in the water and swimming in the water as frogs do. He yells out to the frog, goes, hey frog, what's up? The frog goes, not much, you know, and the frog's a bit, what's this scorpion talking to me about? Scorpions and frogs don't get along. He goes, mate, um, I want to change my life. I want to become a jungle scorpion. I need a hand getting across the water. And the frog's sort of kicking back, you know, swimming back straight, going, yeah, that's nice, buddy. What do you want from me? He goes, I want you to take me across the water because I can't swim. And the frog's like, nah, bro, like, you're a scorpion. Scorpions kill frogs. Ergo some, therefore, stay the effort away from me. And the, the scorpion became very panicked and very distressed and the, and the frog noticed this on his face and the, the scorpion became very sad and teary-eyed and said, you know, you have to believe me, I'm so sincere, I would never, you know, I would never sort of kill you, I, I just want to get across and I'll be internally grateful. And the frog's like, I see that you're pretty serious, bro, but scorpions kill frogs, I'm not going to do it. Then all of a sudden, a brain flash comes to the scorpion and he yells at the frog and he says, mate, why would I kill you? Because I can't swim. If I kill you, we both drown. And why would I kill you while you're swimming me across the road, across the river, when we both die? Wouldn't that be stupid? And the frog goes, yeah, to kill me would mean you would die. That is stupid. Do you know what? Good argument. Get on my back and let's do this. So Scorpion gets on the frog's back and he's sort of swimming, frog style, I guess, across the river. And the frog's like, man, like, you know, I... You seem pretty cool. I had a scorpion and killed one of my family members, but you know, you seem cool, and I, I'm, it's really, really awesome. And, and, and the scorpion's like, yeah, you know, I really appreciate this. I'm going to change my life. And they're at halfway through, halfway across the river, 
And um, the frog's like, you know, your story's amazing. I can't wait to, and I hope it really works out for you. And um, just as the, the scorpion, sorry, just as the frog goes to continue with his story, he feels a sharp pain in his back. And he sort of says, oh, he goes, what was that? And he looks up and the scorpion's tail stuck into his spine and he's injecting the poison. And he looks at the scorpion, the, the frog looks at the scorpion with sort of, you know, with sunken eyes as he realizes he's becoming paralyzed and he can't swim in his moor and his arms are starting to stop. And he looks at the scorpion just before they sink, he goes, why did you do this? We're both now gonna die. And the scorpion says, I don't know why I did it. I'm a scorpion and scorpions kill frogs. And with that, they both sunk to the bottom of the river and drowned. Now, I really like that story because it illustrates a few points. One, change is incredibly difficult. And what, when people say they'll change, it doesn't necessarily mean they will change. Actions are much more important than words. And the actions and behavior of the, of the scorpion and what the frog knew about scorpions was more accurate than what he was told. And ultimately, how other people can be taken down by believing they can change. So the frog inability to see the actions of the um, scorpion inevitably led to him being dragged down. And I think you need to ask yourself, you've been very clear, this person hasn't changed, they keep telling you they're gonna change, and they won't. The story they tell you isn't important, their actions are important. And the actions of drugs, the theft more importantly, and the lies really shows that um, change is very difficult. And the key to this story as well about the scorpion and the key statement at the end of the, um, the, uh, the story is, I don't know why I stung you, scorpions just kill frogs. And a lot of people don't know what, why they do what they do. And if they did, they might change, but they don't know. And I've got a feeling your boyfriend might not really know why he does drugs or he steals. It might be deep down the side and you're not gonna be able to help him until he realizes that. Now, make sure you're not an enabler. Make sure that you, st you stand up for yourself and it may be time before it's too late to really stand up for yourself and make sure that he has the ammo um, that he needs. For example, it may be a breakup in the relationship or it might be the rock bottom that he needs to make real consistent changes. And the love that you have from him might be necessarily leading you to walk away so he can change. But remember, don't be the frog and understand that sometimes scorpions don't even know where they kill frogs. So it's time to spin the karma wheel. The frog and the scorpion story is a great way for people to tackle issues that they have in relationships. They might not have the courage to ask or to get help, but this video could really help them. So share it through social media, comment or like, therefore more people will get to see the video. If you'd like my help personally, you can contact me for a one-on-one -on -one Skype session or just read the book on Amazon, Zen in the City. Other than that, thank you and goodbye.